Now let's talk a bit about applied skills. Now, what are applied skills? And uh, a lot of people will call them new. I feel like in the world of tech, things change so much. They have been released almost one year ago now. Uh, but with all the releases happening from Microsoft, with everything, it's sometimes easy for some of them uh, to get missed. So Applied Skills is the new Microsoft uh, verified scenario-based credential that proves proficiency in skill set specific to critical business challenges. Tiago did mention it a little bit, but a big change that happened in about November last year is that to get a certification or to get, let's say, a, a, a proof that, micro, that you know something about Microsoft, our only option before was Microsoft certifications. That was the only way for you to get a, a proof or a diploma from Microsoft. But in November last year, Microsoft split this up into two different things, Microsoft certifications and Microsoft applied skills which now all fall under the Microsoft credentials umbrella. So whenever you look at a blog at Microsoft Learn, you will often see this umbrella of Microsoft credentials, which contains both certifications and applied skills. And they are very different, right? Certifications, I feel like everybody is a bit more aware of. Uh, they are role-based. So are you an Azure developer? Are you a Teams admin? Are you are you an Azure architect or a Power Platform architect? And in those uh, certifications, you often need to know multiple products. Even if it's only Azure in the name, you probably need to know about 10 different uh, products inside Azure to pass that certification. They are done in a proctored way, meaning that you either have to go to a credited testing center or you have to do them from home with a proctor that's watching you on the camera. And a lot of the questions are, uh, I want to say, a bit of knowledge base. So you have a question, you either have multiple answers, or you have an order in which you need to put the answers in, or you need to fill in the blanks in the PowerShell commandlet that you have on the screen. So those are certifications. Now, what's different about applied skills? Applied skills are very specific to one single uh, skill set. So they're not your power platform architect. They're really about one product. For example, automating business processes with Power Automate. That's a bit more in my Power Automate part. Uh, Tiago, what's your uh, one from Azure? I know both of you are from the Azure side, but let's start with Tiago. What's your think, favorite yeah, Azure one? I think, I think for me it was the first one that I took, which is about you know secure storage, uh, basically on storage accounts. That was like one of the first ones to be available, and was like I think it was like three four days after this was launched that you know I took that one, and I think that was it's 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 like amazing that one and still one of my favorites. I have to confess because it's it's a little bit like what you're saying, Vlad, which is it really focuses on one very, very specific task. In this case, you know, not even storage as a whole service, but just how to secure, you know, storage in Azure. And, you know, that's like amazing because, you know, sometimes, yeah, we, we just want to get accreditation that we, as professionals, you know, we know how to do that specific task. And a certification, it's a little bit more broad. I, I have to correct you in one thing. You said in the Azure Architect, there's like probably like 10 services that you have to know. It's not 10, by the way. I count them last time and it was 23. Okay? Only 23. Yeah. And so it's like it's like a lot of different services that you need to know. And of course, you're not going to be like a super expert and you just can't prove a point being a super expert in 23 different you know, um, services, correct? It's, it's just what it is. No one is. And if you try to do it, it, it just doesn't work that way. Um, but in here, no, in here, I can actually validate, you know, my skills about a specific topic with, you know, a specific service or you know, sometimes it's a little bit more than just one. What about you, Jonah? What is your favorite applied skill? 
Yes. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I have uh, taken a lot of Microsoft certifications than applied skills yet. But uh, what I have tried first was the building cloud native, uh, deploying cloud native apps using Azure container apps. That's the first one uh, for uh, for Azure part. But I do have a lot of plans to take more applied skills because it's free. You can do it anytime it's more flexible and it's one way to really have this uh, purpose of learn by doing uh, using the Microsoft learn platform at the same time learning the theory on the side without booking you know Microsoft certifications that sometimes cost money you have to ask your employer to pay for it or pay it yourself so it's very convenient very flexible and very inclusive for Everybody, yeah. including beginners of all levels, so yeah, I, I removes, like it. It kind of it kind of removes the the cost barrier that some people might have, you know, because not everyone is fortunate to have an employer that can actually pay for the certification. Sometimes, you know, there are people that struggle economically, you know, and I think the applied skills it's 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 a great great you know way for people that you know come from that background can you know basically grow in their in their career definitely yeah yes awesome. Awesome. can i add something uh Vlad and Chago? <laughs> i also see an opportunity for microsoft ap applied skills in terms of like employers like you know when you you're doing like applying for a job in a cloud engineering or or maybe looking for someone who can work with Azure or other technologies mm -hmm. within Microsoft, it can be a good way also to test the skills of that applicant by doing like this free free lab and hands-on. Uh, the employer or the management doesn't have to, to ask people inside a company to make the coding labs. They can use the free resources that's already available in Microsoft Learn. So I think it's a good thing also for all sides. Uh, you are absolutely right. And I mean, I forgot to mention, but of course they're free. I think, uh, Jonah, you mentioned them or Tiago. I didn't mention it yet. I wanted to keep that a bit longer, but applied skills are free, which makes it even more awesome. And we have a ton of applied skills available. I